Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the colorful world of bibimbap, a beloved Korean dish that's as delicious as it is beautiful. Bibim means mixed and bap means rice. So bibimbap literally translates to mixed rice. But don't let the simple name fool you. Bibimbap is a symphony of flavors and textures, featuring a bed of fluffy rice topped with an array of vibrant seasoned vegetables, your choice of protein, and a perfectly cooked egg. It's a dish that's deeply rooted in Korean history and culture, often served on special occasions and enjoyed by people of all ages. Legend has it that bibimbap originated as a way to use up leftover ingredients before the Lunar New Year. Another theory suggests that it was a farmer's dish, a quick and nutritious meal enjoyed in the fields. Whatever its origins, bibimbap has become a true icon of Korean cuisine, loved for its versatility and its perfect balance of taste and nutrition. Now, are you ready to bring the magic of bibimbap into your own kitchen? Let's get started. Before we embark on our bibimbap making adventure, let's gather our ingredients. Don't worry, you don't need a million different things. The beauty of bibimbap lies in its adaptability, so feel free to use what you have on hand or explore new vegetables and proteins. For the rice, two cups short grain white rice, but you can also use brown rice for a healthier option. For the vegetables and protein, one cup spinach washed and drained, one cup bean sprouts rinsed, one medium carrot peeled and julienned, one small zucchini julienned, four shiitake mushrooms, stems removed and thinly sliced, half a cup of kimchi chopped, which is optional but highly recommended, and half a pound of thinly sliced beef, chicken or tofu, your choice. For the toppings, two tablespoons sesame oil, two cloves garlic minced, one tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon sugar, half a teaspoon black pepper, two eggs, two tablespoons gochujang, which is Korean red chili paste, and one tablespoon toasted sesame seeds. Remember, these are just suggestions. Feel free to customize your bibimbap with your favorite vegetables and proteins. Now that we have our ingredients prepped, it's time to cook. We'll start with the foundation of our bibimbap, the rice. Cooking the rice. Rinse the rice under cold water until the water runs clear. This removes excess starch and ensures fluffy rice. Add the rinsed rice and two cups of water to a pot with a tight-fitting lid. Bring to a boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to low, cover, and simmer for 15 minutes. Remove from heat and let the rice steam for 10 minutes without removing the lid. This allows the rice to finish cooking and absorb any remaining moisture. Preparing the vegetables. Heat one tablespoon sesame oil in a large skillet over medium heat. Add the spinach and beet sprouts and saute for two to three minutes until wilted. Season with a pinch of salt and pepper. Remove from the skillet and set aside. In the same skillet, add the remaining sesame oil and saute the carrot, zucchini, and mushrooms for three to four minutes until slightly softened. Season with a pinch of salt and pepper. Remove from the skillet and set aside. If using beef or chicken, add it to the skillet and cook until browned and cooked through. Season with soy sauce, sugar, and black pepper. Set aside. If using tofu, simply pan fry it until golden brown and crispy. Cooking the egg. Heat a small amount of oil in a non-stick skillet over medium heat. Crack an egg into a small bowl, being careful not to break the yolk. Gently slide the egg into the hot skillet and cook to your preference. For a runny yolk, cook for two to three minutes. For a more well done yolk, cook for four to five minutes. Now comes the fun part. Assembling our masterpiece. Divide the cooked rice evenly among two bowls. Arrange the cooked vegetables and protein in separate sections over the rice, creating a colorful and appetizing display. Gently slide a cooked egg onto the center of each bowl of rice. Add a dollop of gochujang on top of the egg or on the side of the bowl. Sprinkle with toasted sesame seeds for added flavor and visual appeal. Your bibimbap is now ready to be enjoyed. <laughs> 